but we got some filthy Frank for you guys. Oh, oh, you, oh, you don't know. Oh, yeah, this is that's that's a joke. He was a YouTuber, right? Yeah, I remember like 2013, the Harlem Shake. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And eventually, he kind of dusted that character and just wanted to just be taken seriously as an artist. So he adopted Joji. His videos are very interesting. Is this in the city? It could be. Like that bus stop looking thing looks like. Unless they're universal like that. That is cool. Lady A Rising. Yep. He shot to them dudes. Thoughts? Yo. I was always like in my head, like, yo, I'm not gonna listen to this guy. Like <laughs> this guy YouTuber just went and started making music, but this was cool, like visual i don't know if i liked it more too because i watched it with the video Maybe, like probably. sometimes like that'll happen too like if right. i watch something the first time with the video i'm like more like gravitated towards it or whatever so like mm -hmm. the lighting like you said was really cool and i just like visuals that are like they're not nothing like it wasn't fast paced there wasn't no crazy effects post wise it was just all at least from what i can tell is like in camera on site whatever it looks like it is right and like it was just him it was yeah. so minimal mm -hmm. yeah. but still engaging yeah with the like shot selection the inserts like the hands close-ups whatever the case was and the shit just happening and it like yeah. you know what i mean the, the, the arrows and stuff <clears throat> exactly like 
it wasn't too busy, but it was still like entertaining. Right. Like I was watching the whole time, you know, sometimes like if I'm watching some stuff, I'm not like look away or whatever mm-hmm. the case is. But like this was really entertaining. Yeah. I It was better than I expected because um, like you said, like I feel like there's a, a stigma with YouTubers turning musicians, you know what I mean? Um, uh, there's like a, a negative connotation to that. So I, I, I'll admit I kind of didn't expect much, but I was pleasantly surprised. Um, <clears throat> and I think I, I enjoyed the song more, especially because of the video. I happened myself, I like to... Um, I like like flashy kind of visuals, if that makes sense. So like the parts where they were flashing the lights, they made it look like someone was taking pictures. That's of him. what I was wondering too. Yeah, mm. I like stuff like that. Um, and if you guys are familiar with like the um, trapping in Japan videos, uh, oh, yeah. where it's like a, you know about that, yeah. they have like those really crazy flashy um, yeah. kind of visuals. I just have that playing in my space, like when I'm like cleaning or when I'm doing work or something like that, just because that's. The, the type of visuals that I like. So I especially liked the video because of that. Um, and the song was was very melodic. Yeah. And and the instrument choice that 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 lead, um, I want to say it sounded kind of like a bell. It was different. And I and I like that. I like that. I could see why the song is very popular. Hmm. Yeah, with him. Um, I forgot what song was a AJ has sent me a song because the visuals for that one is like shot exclusively on VHS. Oh, I and think I, I remember him mentioning this back then. That song is fire. Like I listen to that song to this day. Nice. I think I made might have heard this song maybe once or twice or whatever the case is. I think it's on this album called Ballads. Um, the song that I like is on the album too. Yeah, with him, like when I seen his interview and shit like that, it was like a, it was interesting because it was a, such a stark difference between like the character because the character he played was like mad, like, like, like raw and fucking just like, what's the word? Like when something's like kind of like, not grotesque, but he was he used a lot of cursing and a lot. It was kind of just okay. like gross shit. Like you know what I mean? It was kind of like sometimes it'd be like gross out. I think I'm I'm, I'm blanking on the word. I'm blanking on the word. Repulsive? But nah, that like would be profane. Grotesque. Profane. Right. I don't know. That's the right word. But like, it was it was raunchy. Okay. Uh, it was very raunchy, his character. So when I seen how he was conducting himself in his interviews, no longer as Filthy Frank, but as like just Joji, it was kind of interesting because he's way more reserved. And he said that he made the, the switch intentionally because he wanted people to take his music seriously. When I heard that, I kind of off rip kind of knew that he had to be at least some type of talent so he has to put some type of mindset behind what he's doing because mm-hmm. you know what i mean your average youtube rapper or whatever like rice gum isn't really trying to separate right. himself you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah um if i'm not mistaken he produces a lot of his own beats and shit too so like oh. he's like he's somebody who takes you know who takes this shit seriously i like this song i like the visuals for this shit like i love the visuals i love when people just use a lot of shadow and then just use like a, maybe like Minimal lighting in order to just you know, give, I guess, a, a figure of the, the of the of the, the subject. Not even like lighting the whole thing. Mm. Like they did a lot of like silhouette, which just like you know, what I mean, a highlight. Yeah. Um, just the visuals for the shit was just amazing. Like as a as a photographer, as a videographer, I was really tuned into that. The song, um, outside of the video, if I was to hear it, I don't know if I'd have the same appreciation for it. But mm. to me, this kind of served as like the score for what was going on in the video. Yeah, that yeah. Makes sense. So uh, it was very interesting, and I made comments about it about how um, there's a stark difference between the aesthetics of the song and the aesthetics of the video. I like the contrast. It's like a yeah. juxtaposition. Yeah. You have this pretty ass melody, mm-hmm. and you have this. Niggas smoking in a fucking mm-hmm. yeah. The opening shot was mm-hmm. interesting, really like, interesting. Eye grabbing, and then you see the motherfucker with the the centaur legs and yeah. blood coming yeah. out his mouth and all that weird shit, and the arrow <clears> in his back. <throat> I thought that that was cool. Um, dark. I mean, he is his his uh his visuals from what I can see are usually pretty dark too. But mm. yeah, I, I fucked with this man. I'm definitely down to to watch more if you guys like it. Yeah. If this video fucking flops, we'll never do another one again. Facts, <laughs> facts, facts, facts. You know, you, you know, know, if we can get this to what twenty five likes. Nah, we gotta aim higher. Come on, fifty man. likes. We got, like, let's get this to three hundred. Three hundred likes. Let's go for three hundred. And we'll do more likes. Joji. Yes. Yeah. 
you know, drop some names, drop some links. Actually, would be great. We love Facts. links. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Make sure to catch us on our socials. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All and, of those. Uh, subscribe listed. with post notifications because yes. we post every single day. Yes, every we do. Day. Sometimes twice a day. Right and as we rain. Go live at least twice a week. Twice a week. And then we game at least once a week too. So yes. that's three times total. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You need to be in tune with yes, wasting my twenties. Yes, you do. So s- stay up. Stay late. Cause mm-hmm. we about to we about to go live right now. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Hey, so catch it. Well, you, you ain't gonna catch this because two weeks old. Ah, whatever. Peace. Peace.